Deputy Garcia, you ready to rock and roll? All right, good afternoon. Let me hear from Children's Council, Parents Council, and then I'll last hear from the county with respect to detention issues. Your Honor, on behalf of Chris Lynn, we are asking for her to be returned to her father today. Even with the department's low burden, they haven't established by prima facie evidence that there's risk if Chris Lynn were released today. The department will now be testing the mother, can do unannounced visits to make sure that father isn't allowing unauthorized contact and that she's not visiting or caring for the baby if under the influence. On behalf of father, your honor, father is asking for the child to be uh, placed with him today. Father did not know about mother's drug use and mother misinformed the department. Um, misinformed is not exactly the right well, word, but... Uh, did not tell the department of her drug use and did not tell father of, of her drug use as well. But father is in a position now to care for the minor and he's asking for the minor to be returned to him today. All right, mom's counsel. I think my client made mistakes on so many levels and the court pointed out something that I felt was important, that my client lied to the department in not disclosing the correct circumstances that led her to use drugs and the full story but when DCFS is involved, parents are afraid to lose their child. So the stories that come out may not really reflect what transpired. She's They're certainly not the first parent that's not telling the truth to the department. Exactly. So I don't think father should be judged on misrepresentations made by my client. What I'm are you asking for? I'm asking for release to the father. My client would not in any way conduct herself in a way to sabotage a release to the father. So my client would continue with the program that she is in, which is Tazana Treatment Center. She will continue testing. She is amenable to supervise visits. Uh, she will be grateful if father could be the monitor. So we are joining father's attorney and minor's attorney in making that request. I'm not happy about the misrepresentations. We'll be charitable at that. And those even could potentially be tied to the father, but the father works. He's got strong family support. I do think under the circumstances, it is appropriate to detain from the mother. And I think that it's appropriate to release to the father with conditions. The release I think should be conditioned on the father staying with the grandfather so that there's some level of supervision. So let's discuss visitation. It should be monitored. Uh, mom can't breastfeed till she's testing clean. Dad, although the child is released to you, she remains under the supervision of the court. You're also not to move addresses without notifying the social worker. And also, let's make sure we have a holiday visitation schedule so that the mother can see the child on Christmas Eve and Christmas. All right, thank you. Thank you. Remember our conversation about the origin of this problem? Right. You have to deal with that I squarely. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Take care, okay? Okay. Okay, nice working with you. Okay, thanks, guys. This is your direct dial. That's your dial. This is a release slip shows that you have custody. Um, they're going to call the social worker, let the social worker know your, your daughter was released to you. You can call her and arrange to pick up your daughter. Okay? Everything's okay, baby. See, I told you, right? Right, we got the best news ever, right? Okay then. Everything just seemed to have hit us at one time. We lost our car, place, and me being pregnant, being homeless, I hit rock bottom. It was like, dang, take everything away from us to give us this blessing that we've been wanting for years. I made some bad decisions, and I allowed that situation to take over me. I used cocaine the day before my water broke. I just told her, we end this together. I'm here for you just like you've been here for me. But just don't, don't make another mistake like this again.